the cookie jar. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm not going to be on here long. Um, I'm still with my grandbabies. Uh, excuse what my house may look like. But we are all here. You can see we're having a good time. Excuse the mess. That's just the way it is. That's, you know, that's just how it is, you know, with kids. And so my topic was about being able to do what you want and stop wishing about things that you wish you could do or X, Y, Z or whatever. Now, the reason why I say that, because I remember... And I'm not better than anybody else, so let's don't let's get that out the way. I don't think I'm better than anybody else. Let's get that out the way. Um, I didn't say that I was filthy rich, but get that out the way. But my mentality tells me that I am because I use. Stop it! Stop it! I'm on. Stop it! Sorry about that. They'll get loud. You know how kids are when they know you're doing something. They get louder. So. Hey, that's a part of it, but I'm just letting them know that I'm doing something right now. Um, Junebug, Jaquel, and Junior, y'all want to say good morning to everybody? Yes. Come in and say good morning. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. And there go AJ back there with a mouthful of muffins. Good Don't speak until... There you go. There you go. Just wait. Okay. Hello. So this is what I'm doing. All right. Y'all can go back and watch your cartoon. So the reason for the topic, and there's a lot of times that I'm going to come on here and I'm going to be sharing a lot about my life. Um, I'm going to be sharing because I want you all to see that I'm just like everybody else. But my think pattern is different, okay, because I've always thought that, you know, I always wanted more. You know, I always desire more. But when I was younger and I would reach out to certain people, they would always want to put a lot of religion in you. And some of the religion that they taught us, they did not teach us the whole true part of religion. They wanted to teach us just about religion. And a lot of the stuff that was that that is attached to religion is principles. And they will not teach you about the principles and the laws. OK, but anyway. Hey, 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 chill. That's kids. They know you doing something. They want to get louder and louder. But grandma not going to say that no more because the next time grandma said grandma not going to be nice about it. Um, so what I always wanted, I wanted to be able to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. But I wasn't able to make things happen. All I knew then was what I was trained was to go to church, worship God, read the Bible, study the Bible, uh, pay your tithes, uh, be obedient to certain things in the word. Or what they would say is uh, whatever you do, uh, make sure you put God first in your life. And then all I knew was to work, 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 pay bills, work, pay bills, come home, take care of my kids. Now. The struggle was real. I'm not going to paint the pretty picture because my kids can vouch for that. But the deal of it is, we made it. Okay? And so when I got older and I started connecting with um, different people, I started looking at their life. Okay? And I wanted what they had. And I asked them. So when they told me things that they were doing for a better life, I adapted to it. Okay? And so when I started adapting to it, I start pushing away some of the old stuff that I was taught and raised by because some of it was not really true. A lot of it was cliche. A lot of it was from past experience. A lot of it was from emotions. A lot of it was from hurt and pain. A lot of it they just did not know and would not tell you they did not know and did not make an effort to go find the answer. So they would say, if I were you, I wouldn't this. If I were you, I wouldn't this. You know, it, it always was a cliche and would leave you standing in the mist. So my life growing up was more of a mist. Work, pay bills, work, pay bills, work, pay bills, and whatever else left, that's what you had to maintain and live off for. You know, I was a mom, single mom with kids. I did not like being on the system. I couldn't stand the system. I didn't like somebody talking about welfare. Hold on, y'all. TV. TV. For right now, your grandma minute. We don't play in Grandma's house. I told you we'll go to the park and play, right? All right. No play in the house. Sorry, I got my grandkids. We still doing our little thing, y'all. So it's exciting to have them. So 
what I did to all, I started changing things because I couldn't accept what people was dishing out to me. So as my kids was growing up and every time an opportunity opened up for me to do better and somebody offered me a job that paid more money, Dolores was running and chasing the dollars, okay? I was chasing the dollars because I wanted my kids to have more than what I had, okay? I know what it is to not have, and I know what it is when I say not have. As some of them songs, that's why I like the trap music. I like songs like that because it reminds me and it reflects my life. I know what it is to live somewhere with no life song. I know what it is not to have food on the table. I know what it is trying to make, uh, 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 take 50 cents and trying to make it a dollar. I resonate with that. So that can't change me. That can't leave me. That will make me what I am today. Because I'm a hustler. I'm a grind. Okay, I always got out there and got a job. Didn't say it was illegal, but I always got a job that paid good money, you all. And by me having a job that paid good money, it took me off the system because I didn't want the system anyway. Okay, so I was always finding a way to where I couldn't be couldn't be a slave to something. I couldn't be captivated. I wanted it to be free. Okay, so I got out there and I got it and I got it and I got it. Some of the things that I was raised up by wasn't true. Oh, you got to work for 40 years to get a retirement in Social Security. Do y'all know how many people that I see that's retired right now and they can't even enjoy life? I see them standing at the front door at Walmart. I don't want to be like that. I'm not going to be like that. I will not accept it. Okay, so what did I do? I changed my thought pattern. That's why I've been sharing some of the things that I do because I don't want to be a wish or what or coulda when I can. Okay, so that is why my grandchildren are here. And that's why I'm making this live while they're here. So that you can hear them in the background. When I was a, when I was a parent, when my kids was young, because I'm still a parent because I still got kids. All, all my kids are still living. Thank God for that. But what I'm saying is when they were little, when they needed me the most, I was there just physically. Okay, I was there physically. I wasn't attached to my kids like this because I wasn't able to do things with my children. I wasn't able to go to football practice. I wasn't able to go to football game. I wasn't able to do X, Y, Z. But I was able to go out there and make the money. I didn't depend on any other dads. They did, they did, they didn't, they didn't. Because what I, well, my realization was that it took two to make a baby. So he do his part, he do, he do. If he don't, he don't. I got to go out here and take care of my babies. See, that's what real women do. Okay? When my kids was little, okay, I was there in body. But I wasn't attached to them. That's the two different things, you all. I was there. My mom and my sisters helped me with my children while I was always working. Positions, higher positions to pay. I wasn't there for my kids. So the higher I got in management, the more I had to give the job more of my time and my kids was getting less of my time. Yes, there was times that I missed their first step. Yes, there's times that I missed the mom and the daddy part, but guess what? They didn't suffer financially, okay? But that's on me. But at the same time, I didn't make time out to do special memories with my children. You know, going on vacation or, or spending time with them like I'm doing here because they didn't want breakfast this morning. They saw the muffins on the top. I let them have the muffins, okay? Turn around. We're going to go out and have lunch today. Not physically out. We're going to go get the food and bring it back. And probably tonight, they'll have pizza. What I'm saying, you all, I'm financially able to do something that I wasn't able to do for my children. Okay? So, I'm changing things to be a better person. I want my grandkids to remember things that grandma to do by God's grace. Okay, because I chose to do something different. I apologize. I got somebody keep calling, interrupting my live, and I greatly appreciate it because I rejected the call three times. So if I reject your call three times, that's letting you know, hello, I'm on the live. I'm doing the video. Okay, so, and a lot of times you got to be careful that as well. So what I did, I changed my mindset to all. I started figuring out what is it that I can do better. I got tired of working for people. Every time you work, I saw people walk all over me. I helped train people. People got promoted over me after I helped them get trained. And then when somebody finally told me the truth, said they have no intention of doing, giving you X, Y, Z, or giving you on store because of your color. You're black. Yes, I said that. That hurts you all. 
I even lost a job one time because of who I was related to, my family. I didn't let that stop me, you all. So what I'm saying, you all, go out here and get what you want. Good morning, Tony. How you doing, boo-boo? Me and you'll catch up momentarily. Thank you, Tracy. Hey, Larry. Hey, everybody. Y'all, I'm just keeping it real with you all. Quit doing the wish or would or could have start doing something. Y'all want to know what else I do on the back? I don't do all this boasting and bragging. I'm not showing y'all no apple bottoms. I'm not showing y'all no fancy cars. I'm not showing y'all no fancy house. Y'all get to see the inside of my house. It's a house. And what? I got a roof over my head. I got food to eat. I do have money in the bank account. Okay? It's getting there. It's growing. I'm not going to tell y'all I'm filthy rich. I'm not going to tell y'all I got millions in the bank, but I do got some thousands. Okay? No boasting, no bragging. Good morning, Kim folks. How you doing, Charlotte? But I changed my mindset to decide that I wanted to do something. So what did I start doing? I start getting uh, jobs that pay. I receive more money than what I had going out of my house. I knew what my expenses was going to be so that I could have money hanging over so I could do things. You all, I'm living, living a better life now than I lived when I was younger because I didn't know no better. But see, they say in everything you do, get an understanding. So I went and got me some knowledge. I went and got me some wisdom. Don't let education fool you because going to school is not going to get you. It's going to get you a job. But you got to master some skill sets that will hold you a lifetime. So what did I go do? I went and connected with people that was making money, people that was working for themselves. I went and connected with people that had money sitting in the bank. I connect with a millionaire every day. Every day I talk to her. She's my coach. She's my mentor. I'm not up in her, po up in her pocket for her to have self-pity on me because I want some millions like she got because mine is coming. But what I do do, you all, she teaches principles. She teaches law. She removes the religion. A lot of us are so religion taught that we so tied up. And I'm waiting on God to bless me. I'm waiting on God to open up the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing. But what did you do? Those are words. How come you put, didn't put your words in action? They didn't teach us how to put the words in action because the words create and they form you all. That's why people does, as I share with you all, vision board. You all, I haven't worked since June. I've been able to go back and forth in and out of town. I've been able to spend more time with my grandkids, spend more time with my daughter that's here in the house. I laugh and talk with my family on the phone. The love is so strong now. I don't know why. I don't know if it was the distance. I don't know if it's the separation. I don't know if I just had to get out of my hometown, you all. But it ain't no wish or could have because I chose to make something happen. The vision board that I share with you all, I chose to change my mindset, you all. That negativity, get that negativity out your life. You cannot prosper with negativity. You cannot prosper with them naysayers. You cannot prosper being on the phone gossiping and talking about people. You cannot prosper when you doing wrong, but you always see everybody else is wrong and you can't see your own wrong. Wrong is wrong. Period. I don't care if you walked out of a store with a pen in your hand and you just had signed a piece of paper with it and you forgot to leave a pen on the counter. You took that pen. You didn't ask for it and don't holler that you forgot. Because if you forgot, you would have went back and you would have returned it. I'm just using some examples, you all. So what am I doing? I'm traveling, you all. I've traveled and moved more now than I ever moved in my entire life. I was out, in and out yesterday. My brother-in-law came up here, helped me get one of my cars in the shop, and we rolled. We went to moving. Do you hear me? My brother-in-law, I was trying to keep up with him. I'm like saying, bro, where you at? I told you I was going to stop and get some gas because I thought I had enough gas. He said, I'm whoop de whoop 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 What? Let me speed up a little bit more to catch up with him. By the time I caught up with brother-in-law, he was almost to the destination. But it was the love because he didn't have to do that, you all, because I changed my mindset. A lot of you all can't prosper because you're too afraid to ask because you want to say, I don't care. I'm, I'm too, uh, 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 such and such might say this, such and such. If you need some help, ask for some help. But you shouldn't have to keep asking for help because after you get so much help, you all, you should learn where the problem is. And ladies... Ladies, let me show you something that I had to do. Y'all probably laid up, shacked up with a man that can't even buy you a loaf of bread. Why are you doing that to yourself? You a queen. Anybody connected to me know I got a lot of pride. I got a lot of dignity and I got a lot of ego. 
And it ain't the clothes that make me. Because, baby, I love shopping at Walmart. I love shopping at the thrifty store. Matter of fact, I was at a thrifty store yesterday, you all, that I just discovered. Didn't even know it was right under my nose. And I got a beautiful bag from a thrifty store. Brand new. Okay? Don't let me fool you, you all. My outfit I had on yesterday. One of my sisters seen me. Matter of fact, my baby sister seen me. She said, oh, my God, you look cute in your yellow. I said, thank you, boo. Kept it moving. But didn't think nothing of it, so I had to make another stop yesterday. I'm just giving you all, quit doing the wish of coulda, woulda. Make it happen, you all. Life is too short to not do what you want to do. And I chose to do what I wanted to do, how I want to do it. And I spoke it out of my mouth. I don't want to work for nobody ever again in life. That's why I'm working for myself. So many of you all want to know what it is that Dolores is doing. Please take time out to reach out to me. Message me. Call me. Text me. Email me. Don't ask my family because my family can't tell you what I'm doing because they might tell you something wrong. Because they don't run these businesses. Dolores do. But I'm not about that, you all. I'm just saying do what you want to do. You want to be a, a landscaper and you want to mow yard? Be the best landscaper. You like baking cakes, then you bake them cakes and you be the best cake baker decorator it is. People will pay you for what your gifts and skills and talents are. Put it in motion, you all. Quit being afraid because there's enough room for everybody. See, that was my that was my problem. I was always worried about what other people going to say about me. I was always worried about what my image looked like. I would always ask my kid, do this look okay? Yeah, am I showing too much boob? How about my arms? Is it showing too big? How about my tummy? Is it showing too much tummy? <laughs> what? Scratch all of that. Bump that. You're going to accept me for who I am, whether you like it or not. It is. If you don't like me, move around. I love me some me, but guess what? I'm fixing me. I'm structuring me. That's why I share my walk, you all. Why? Because you got to get healthy. Health is a part of the system, you all. All this, I love the skin I in, I'm in. I love the skin I'm in, but guess what? I want to live as long as possible. I don't want to be, I don't want my children when I get older to throw me in no nursing home. Y'all better realize that these children want to live their life. And a lot of parents is living their life through their children. And I will not be one of them. My mom didn't live her life through her children. And I'm not going to live my life through, through mine. My mama always said, I don't want to be a burden to y'all. She always said that I didn't understand what she meant because I was willing to give up my life for my mama. I would have took care of my mama before she was put in a nursing home. So what I'm doing, you all, I'm correcting me so that I don't be a burden to my children in my golden years. Okay? That's what it's all about, you all. Change your perspective. Don't spend up every dollar you get. Save some of your money. Put some money in saving. Put some money in an emergency fund. And put some money in some investments. What do investments mean? That is what the rich, the wealthy people do. I didn't say rich. Change your mindset. I didn't know this stuff back then. Even when I was working and I got all this money sitting inside 401ks. Do y'all know what 401ks really is? 401ks are stocks. You're putting your money in stocks and you're telling the company that you give them authorization to manage your money for you. And they go inside of a business or trade stock market or whatever. And they place your money there. Well, guess what, you all? If you pay attention, the stock market goes up and the stock market goes down. And if your money don't shuffle and move around because you're in control of it, because they don't tell you that you can log in and move your stocks around and move your money around and put your money where you want it to be or pull out, then guess what? When the stock market plummets, so does your money. And that's the reason why a lot of people think they got a big fat 401k plan, but their money in the 401k plan is doing this because of the stock market. Okay. But if you're in control, yes, investment is beautiful. Cause that is what the wealthy people do. They doing it every single day. But you got to master the skills to do it. See, back then, I knew about the stock market. I had money in the stock market. I had money in 401k, but I didn't know about how to invest it and money, manage it. Because there's torts and graphs and stuff that needs to be read. Well, guess what? I'm learning that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, long story short, you're never too old 
to learn. Don't, don't, don't use that excuse because I'm loving this new life. I'm loving the new things that I'm seeing. It made life look so much brighter. I don't regret getting up in the morning time. How many of y'all regret get up in the morning time? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got to get up. Oh, my God. I got to. Uh, matter of fact, well, hope, let, me, let me keep talking to y'all while I go. Put my hot water on so I can make me some coffee this morning. But um, what I'm saying to you all, quit doing the wish you could or would have. And quit trying to uh, um, prove to the world who you are. Just live your life. Do you. I'm doing me. When I was younger, I was always concerned about. X, Y, Z, what people say. Well, y'all, I'm doing me. I get up when I want to get up. And don't get me wrong. I have myself trained to get up. I go to bed when I want. I do what I want, which I have a set schedule. But you all quit stopping the coulda, woulda, shoulda. Find a way to break free our old habits. Some of the old habits that we was raised by. Some of the old habits are the belief system that you have. You don't have all the true, complete information. When I was growing up, I heard about it. When I was growing up, I kind of knew that it existed, but I didn't know how to tap into it. You all are on Facebook every single day, and I'm not going to lie to you all. If they offering something for free that you all can l learn, thank you, honey. Greatly appreciate it. That's an everyday, all day, 24-7 energy. Okay? Because why? I feel good. I'm happier. See, y'all, I got rid of the negativity. I got rid of the naysayers. Um, I turn around, you all. I start eating healthier. I started thinking healthier. I start reading, you all. Matter of fact, I read so much that I take notes when I'm reading books and stuff. You all see this? I'm always into something. I'm always, look at that. It says personal look personal development every time i read something i'm taking notes you all matter of fact this is the next book i'm reading on a book right now i'm reading it for the second time because i like to read things sometimes i'll read it uh twice in a row or sometimes i'll read it put it aside and go back and read it again so i can pull and draw things because i like to highlight i take notes and then i reach out to someone else that has a higher level understanding i reach out to that person to get more clarification. This is the next book I'm fit to tap into. I know my camera's probably backwards, but it's called Think Like a Billionaire, Become a Billionaire. Uh, as a man thinks, so is he. So this is the next book I'm getting ready to tap into. And y'all, I like it. Even the green money, y'all. Money, money, money. Financial freedom. So that's what I've been doing, you all. I wanted to share a little bit. Um, you can have it. Get out of the wish you could have, should have. If people is not on the same alignment with you, and don't be ashamed of your family, you all. Excuse me. Don't be ashamed of your family. Your family is your family regardless of what. And that's the reason why I'm here with my grandbabies. I keep an open door and a communication with all five of my children and children that, that not even kids that I gave birth to. But if they call me mama, they my kid. Okay? If I call you family, you my family. If we're not family by blood and we call each other family, that's it. That's just the way it is and that's the way it's going to be. I don't have to explain to nobody how we related and stuff like that. Bump all of that. Um, you all start. I'm serious. I'm as serious as I can be. This pandemic actually made me a better person. This pandemic actually helped me manifest and learn how to start generating more money into my household you all it is so sweet to sit here excuse me hey kid cool y'all let me show you something else i got too i got hot so i'm gonna turn my fan on look y'all got me a little fan right here i'm gonna put this in i'm hot y'all so give me a moment i'm not through talking with y'all but i'm gonna be in a minute because my grandkids getting hyped and I promised that I was going to be the weekend with them, although I got work to get done, but I still got to be a grandma at the same. You need to seek out T.C. Bradley, God Made Millionaire. Um, text that to me, okay? DM me that, okay? Because I might not go all the way through this here. So DM me that, and I definitely will uh, look into that too. Thank you, thank you. I'm always loving to read books. I'm always going back and pulling out old books and rereading them and taking notes and highlighting them and applying them to my life, you all. I have a vision board in front of me. Things that I want. Things that I'm going to prosper. See, what, you, what the mind take, that's what the mind start generating and bringing into your life. It's a lot, you all. But back to your family. Don't be ashamed of your family. A lot of people, it's a shame of where they came from. A lot of people don't want to talk about their past and what they've been through. Child, please get over there. 
Your past is what who made you. I'm not ashamed that I'm a country girl. I'm not ashamed that I came raised up by the Brasses River. I'm not ashamed that I lived in a shack. I'm not ashamed that I could lay in the bed and look up and I could see the stars in the sky through the cracks. I'm not ashamed that the floors had holes in it that actually when you move the rugs, you could actually see between the, the boards, you could see the dirt up under the house. I'm not ashamed of where I came from. That's what made me what I am today. Don't be ashamed. Embrace it. Make it who you are. Let people know the real you. I know what it is to be in, 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 in my mama's in an abusive relationship. Yeah, I saw that. Yes, I lived that. But I didn't let that become my handicap. I didn't let that become my strength. All I said, uh, that ain't going to be me. And I'm not going to tell you I haven't been in bad relationships or sorry relationships or poor relationships. But I chose to have better. And I kept seeking for better. But see, a lot of times what happens is that when people come into our life, and I had to learn that, people come in for, teach us a lesson, and we try to make them a lifetime. People come in for a season, you try to keep them for a lifetime. Okay? Let it go. And that's what I had to do. I had to let go of a lot of things. So I get out here, I walk, I'm putting out uh, for, for, for uh, the first 260 days of my, my, my lifestyle journey. I was walking five days a week for two miles in my, this here 61st through the 90th. I'm walking three miles, five days. Hey, 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 you're getting a little bit too loud. I'm walking um, four, times a day, four times a day, three miles, well, four days a week for three miles. And then next month, I'll probably up the end and go back to the five days a week, putting the three miles. Either way I go, I'm working on getting healthy. I'll be mindful of what I'm putting in my mouth. I'm mindful of the words that come out of my mouth. Because let me tell you all something. The words that come out of your mouth, so as a man thinketh, here it go again. It tells you, as a man thinketh. So is he. It's also in the Bible. The Bible is words. The words take form and possession. It's already there. We just didn't know how to operate the system right. Because why? We want to put in all the religion. We want to catch the Holy Ghost. We want to flop all over and do all the dancing and stuff. We want to sit here and wait on the Lord to bless us. But what have we done? We haven't even put no work into it. So now I'm applying what I'm learning. I'm putting it into work. So I sit here every day, you all. I get a chance to laugh and talk and see my grandkids go off to school, see them come back from school. I actually get to spend more time at home, and I'm still making money, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, this is not what I'm, I'm on here for. I just want you all to know that there is a better life. It is a better life. I get up every morning. I do all my affirmations. I do what I need to do, cleaning my skin, everything, and I get out there. I time myself, you all. I, wealthy people manage their time. I time myself from the time I leave the house to the time I get back home. I said I should be finished with my walk in an hour and a half. No more. No more. That's why you all saw a shorter walk yesterday because why I started my journey early But I had a full schedule because I knew my brother-in-law was en route because we had things to do So I was trying to get my walk in but brother-in-law rolled up on me earlier than what I thought So when I got the phone call saying he was en route, oops, I gotta cut this off, but I got my walk in See, that's the deal of it is. Uh, many of us use excuses 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes do what you gotta do you always say, oh, I like that. But oh, I, I get so much of that in my inbox, child. You can do it. If you think I'm going to give you some pity, I'm not giving you no pity. I don't do the pity party. If anybody do a pity party, it's me. I was a single mom. I raised five kids. I'm a single mom with five kids and started being a grandmother at an early age before I was 14 years old, if I'm correct. Okay? What? Huh? What? My oldest grandson is fit to be 16 years old. What? And I'm proud. I'm a proud grandma. I'm a proud Gigi. I'm a proud granny. And so what? It's life happens. Pick it up. Figure out what it needs to be done. If you're going out here always borrowing money, manage your money. Find out why you always borrow money because it's probably something that you don't need anyway. Put your money aside and treat yourself. Take yourself on vacation. I'm getting ready to take me on vacation. That's why I brought that bag at that vintage yesterday because i'm going away for two to three days me it's going to be a mini me trip and i'm going away put my clothes in that bag put my laptop because i still got to make some money 
And I'm on my way. If it's not my laptop, it'll be my tablet. I got a nice size tablet. So I'm on my way out of here. This is the best that i ever been able to do. Is it expensive? No, it's not expensive if you connect it to the right people and to the right source. I save a lot of money traveling. Okay? But you all, I'm making money. I'm just saying it because I didn't make that when I was younger. I was waiting on paycheck, 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 paycheck. Now I'm getting money every single day, including I get a paycheck. I get a direct deposit every week, payday every week, including turn around and get a month. It's real, you all. Change your mindset, change your perception, and stop having so much envy and jealousy and, and, and hatred in your heart. Because if you got those stuff in your heart, you still can't prosper. And you all always wondering, and, and I have to piggyback off another friend of mine because she did a video uh, a live yesterday. And we communicate every single day. So I knew about the live when she completed it because she contacted me. Okay? And you all always wondering how come the Joneses is getting things as you're not. Because you're still sitting and waiting for God to dump it into your lap. But the Joneses, without religion, check it out, no religion. They're using the principles. They're working it. They got a, something that they do every single day. I don't care if they're speaking affirmations because affirmations are words and words do take form and position. They're creating what they want. They're putting a picture together of what they want. Let me show you all real quick. I'm backing up because I don't want to... Uh, look at here. I'm backing up because I don't want you all to really see. See my little mini vision board in front of my desk? This is my desk. Y'all see those yellow sticky? Those yellow stickies got information and notes on it. The paper below it got information and notes. Y'all see that? Look. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? This is what I want you all to see. This is nothing for play play. I'm as serious as I can be. I changed my mindset. I changed the way I thought. I changed my thought pattern. I changed my think belief. I had to, you all, I had to strip myself basically of all the stuff that I was taught from being raised inside the church. I had to strip myself for some of that because some of that was just cliche stuff. Because when I grew up with religion, it was um, um, and um, they gave you the scripture. They gave you a little bit, but they didn't give you everything. And then they go into this. Y'all know what I'm talking about about the Baptist church. Nothing negative. But see, a lot of times they give you stuff that makes you feel good. They give you stuff based on your emotions. But they're not giving you everything that you need for this success on this earth. You don't have to die and wait to go to heaven. You can bring heaven down to you. And that's what I'm doing. I'm living, you all. I'm traveling. I'm going places. Y'all saw me. I saw a video. I just got Miss Sassy clean yesterday. And you all hurting my feelings so bad yesterday. Because when I finally went to go get Miss Sassy clean yesterday, the guy told me he couldn't clean my ties. I said, y'all can't get my ties clean? That's as clean as y'all can get them? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And I hadn't cleaned my car, y'all, in, in about two months. And I'm like saying, oh, my God. I done messed up these ties. Oh, my God. They so dull. No no boasting, no bragging, y'all. I said, you know what? Bump it. Got in my car. Tipped the guy. Said, thank you. And that's another thing. Tip. Pay. Give stuff. Graciously do stuff, you all. And it'll come back to you. It's called sowing seeds and pay forward, okay? And, um... I went on, got the stuff, so I'm out in another spot, you all. And while I went in the store, there was this car sitting here. I remember seeing this lady, and I'm like saying, why are they still sitting there? Didn't think nothing of it. When I came back out of the store, the car was still sitting. I said, why are these people still sitting there? What's really going on? So by the time I got ready to start cleaning my tires because they wouldn't clean enough for me. And y'all, don't, don't, don't think that somebody better than you. If you got a certain expectation and standard, live it. But don't don't think your standard expectation is better than somebody else or yours yours out top everybody. No, 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 no. But I have a certain standard expectation and I expect VIP treatment because I pay for it, okay? So, even at the UPS store, my girlfriend's on the phone with me at the UPS store. I was standing in line because only can have five people inside the store and I couldn't be inside the store, okay? They knew who I was, y'all. So all the white people turns around. They say, hey, Miss Franklin. All the white people turn around and see who they speaking to. They speaking to me, boo-boo, because I pay for that service. Okay? So, because you treat people how you want. So while I was standing outside the store, because only could have five, but she had came to get her breakfast. She said, what you doing? I said, all I have is a package that I need to pick up. She said, no problem. I got you. 
You all are still were standing outside getting ready to step in because somebody walked outside the store. And guess what, you all? She brought me my package. I didn't have to wait till I got to the front of the line to get it. I said, thank you and got my car. See, that's what you call good service. That's called VIP and that's called treating people right and living that right type of life. Okay? So back to the store from yesterday when I came out the store, the lady was still sitting there. So I just went started cleaning my tires. Guess what happened, you all? That lady pulled up. She said, oh, ma'am, I like your outfit. It's beautiful. Where did you get it from? I told her where I got it from. She looked at me like I'm crazy. I was honest with her. That's where I got it from. No shame in my game. I just know how to take clothes and coordinate it. It's not the clothes that make the woman. It's the woman that makes the clothes. It's not the clothes that make the man. It's the man that makes the clothes. It's not the car that makes the person. It's the person that makes the car. Because you can be in a pintor and make it look like a Rolls Royce. It's how you treat it. Okay? So while I'm cleaning my tires, not thinking nothing, never cleaning my tires, a gentleman walked over to me, you all. And he said, ma'am. I said, yes, sir. He said, I got that. I said, you got what? He said, you should not be out here cleaning your tires. Your man should be cleaning your tires. So then I thought he chewed a slug at me, so I had to let him know real quick. I don't have a man, and if I did have a man, and I choose to clean my tires, that's my choice. But I let him know I don't have a man, but whoa, whoa, whoa. He said, don't worry about it. I got it. That's what you mean. He said, could you step back for me, please? Man got out of his car, walked across the thing with his detail towel. And was swirling it and went on and took care of the tires. I said, oh, thank you. Greatly appreciate it. I said, how much you charge me? He said, nothing. But guess what, you all? It don't hurt you to bless somebody. Because somebody do something for you for free, it don't hurt you to bless them. I blessed this game. Kept it moving. I never know where I might see this gentleman again or where I might see him and I can bless him or bless him and his family or whatever. Who knows? But you all create the life that you want. You can have it. Get out of the wish or could or should or and start doing something with your life before your life pass you by. There's things that you said you wanted to do 10 years ago and you still haven't done not one thing. Not nothing. Not nothing. I can say that. I can speak that too because I was that person. I created a whole lot of things I kept saying when my kids was little. I'm going to take my kids to Disneyland. I'm going to take all my kids to Disney. Before they get grown and leave the house, I'm going to take them to Disney. Y'all ain't never took my kids to Disney a day yet, and I ain't been there either. See what I'm saying? But now I'm changing my mindset because now where I'm going, I want to be able to do a big family gathering on me. Not my will, but the good Lord's will by doing all these manifestation stuff that I'm going to gather all my family together on me. It's going to be on me. No proving, no point, no nothing. Just so I can be in the presence of my family. So get out of the wish or could or want of you all. I am a grandmother. I am spending time today with my youngest three of eight grandchildren today. It's their world. They can have it how they want. Their clothes is already laid out on the bed. They've had their breakfast. I'll probably give them a break out the, I uh, mean, a, a lunch, a, a, a snack out the while. When it's lunchtime, I've got their clothes laid out. Gonna give them a bath and everything. We're gonna roll out and we're gonna go have lunch. We're gonna go pick it up and bring it back home. Okay? We're going to see how everything go from there. We're going to go to the park. I'm going to let them play. They can play till they fall out. That's what I hope, okay? No, I'm playing, y'all. But still, I want them to enjoy themselves. And these are two sets of grandkids. So, of course, they don't have the same mama or the same daddy. They're related by blood. And I want them to know each other so that when they grow up, family becomes your best friend. Y'all know my best friends are my sisters, although sometimes they make me mad and sometimes I don't like them and sometimes I don't talk to them, but they still my family. That's still blood. I love all my family and I miss my family, but at the same time, you all, you can have what you want. I had a sister contact me yesterday. Oh, you dipped in. Y'all dipped in, dipped in, dipped out. I'm jealous. Why are you jealous? I didn't get to see you. Oh, babe, I'm sorry. It hurt me to hear her say that. But the time that I was doing what I had to do, she was still at work, okay? She was unavailable. But either way it goes, you all start doing things and making things happen. And if your life is not where you want it to be, start connecting with people that will get you to that level. Don't let nobody tell you it cannot happen. Let me be the first to tell you, yes, it can. This is not the first journey. This is not the first vision board. This is not the first success that I'm doing, you all. I've had that nice, fancy car. Many of them. I've had nice homes, you all. There's stories behind that, but now it's not time to share all the story. But is it real? It is real. 
You can go scroll through my photos. Go back to 2012 and stuff. You all will see some things in my storyline or on my photo that say she's telling the truth. I don't put everything for, for show show. This is life. This is not no play play. Because one day I'm here and the next day I could be gone. One minute I'm here and the next minute I could be gone. But I'm going to do what I'm going to do and live life financial free. What else do I do? I work on my credit, you all. Y'all sit up here talking about y'all want stuff and do stuff and you won't even work on your credit. You won't even make no more money. You won't even invest in no more money. But you're still on that wish you could have. You all, you can have whatever you want. Make it happen. You know what you got to do and stop making excuses and stop blaming other people. Success don't have time for that. And success is not going to bless you for something that don't belong to you. So please don't, please don't be up here trying to meditate or, 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 or ask for, for somebody else's man or somebody else's husband or somebody else's wife. Because that ain't the way the principles and laws work. Because if it don't belong to you, you can't do the principles and laws like that. It don't play like that. So I'm going to tell you that right now. And on top of that, I wouldn't want nobody else's problems anyway. Because guess what? I don't know what's going on behind closed doors. So I don't want to wear nobody else's shoes. I create my own life. <laughs> Excuse me. This is the best I've ever done, you all. And I am the happiest person in the world. I'm not where I used to be. But I'm showing the hell away from what I used to be back in the back. But I'm going forward. It looks beautiful, you all. I've seen at times I didn't even have $5 in the bank. But now I can say I got money in the bank. It feels good to say I don't have just one bank account. It feels good when I can say I have four. Okay? Because I'm setting myself up for success. I'm preparing for it. I'm making it happen. If I know what something's going to cost me, I make sure I stay debt free. Morning. Getting loud. I stay debt free. Debt free. That's the whole deal is to be financial free mean debt free. You owe something, pay it off. Quit trying to rip people off. You know you done did wrong, make amends for it. Okay? You can't move forward when you haven't taken care of some stuff. Do I sin? Hell yeah, I sin. I sin every day. Because why? I was born a sinner. That's why I wake up and I thank God for another day for new grace and new mercy. That's why I pray before I go to bed and ask for forgiveness for the things that I've done and the things that I'm not even aware that I've done. What do I mean by that? Because the, the brain's still thinking. You do not know what your brain sometimes done thought. That could have been something negative that you didn't even know. But you still held accountable for it. Because why? It's your mind. It's your brain. It's your thought. Get it right before you try to tell somebody else. And see, that's another thing. You got people out here misleading people. Giving people half information. Giving people false information. For yourself, get an understanding. You want to know some Pray and ask God to give you wisdom and knowledge. You can also speak it into, you can speak it into existence. Hey, warning, warning. Thank you. And you can speak it into existence, you all. You can ask for knowledge and wisdom. Matter of fact, that's part of one of my affirmations. That I say. That I ask for wisdom and I ask for knowledge. Just many times I'm driving down the road. I'm standing in front of the mirror, you all. Like I'm just sitting here like I'm sitting now. Anything. And something drops into my spirit and gives me what I need to know. And each and every last one of us also have a spirit of discernment that tells you, mm, something just ain't right. That don't feel right. That's your, that's your spirit of discernment letting you know. Take heed to stuff. And also, another thing, I'm not trying to throw nothing on to anybody, but I'm also a numbers person, so I recognize numbers. I recognize my numbers when I wake up. I recognize when certain numbers does things because the angels also speak to you in numbers. So I am a numbers person, so I recognize things. And when I see that, I can recognize it when I'm knowing that I am in alignment and I'm on the frequency. So this is a public announcement to many of you all. If I don't answer your phone and I don't return your call, if I don't return your text, emails and stuff, it's nothing against you. I still love you. But if you with all that negativity or naysay stuff, I don't have time for you all. I create a happy space. Here, here you go. Let me show y'all something. Let me show you something else, what I do. You can have it, you all. Let me turn the light on. And then when I get closer, I turn it around. Y'all see this? I set stuff up for me. Y'all see that? Every, mor mor every morning I get up and I step on money. 
Okay, I step on money because I tell my mind that so that my mind can perceive it, take it to the subconscious and start producing me more money. That's how money comes to me every day. Here you all, I have my, my vapor going. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful steam. Because why? This is what I created. Let me see if I'm far enough that you all can't see. Let me show you something. There go my vision board. My vision board. That's for me. And I have a vision board that I can see every single day. So you all, you can have the same thing. Change your life. I'm living the best life. I'm not going to say the best life because the best is yet to come. But I'm living a better life than I've lived in years. And I love everything about it. And all I want to tell you all is that you can have it too. Y'all have a blessed Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. I'm going to spend the rest of my Saturday with these kiddios. <laughs> Okay, and I'm fit to fix me a cup of coffee, and we getting ready to start our day. You all have a blessed, have a prosperous, have a wonderful. Take time out to tell people that you love them. Show your love. Don't be just talking about it. Look at all these messages coming in. I got y'all. I get to y'all, okay? Don't hold me accountable if you don't hear from me today. But you all tell people that you love them. Love on them. Love on them. Because you could not be here tomorrow. Whatever you want in your life, start making it happen because you could not be here next year. You could not be here two years from now. So if you can make it happen, happen. You want to go on a vacation, go on a vacation. Although it might not be a whole week vacation, it's just for two or three days, do it. I'm going to be gone two or three days, but it's a vacation. It's away from the children. It's away from the grandkids. It's away from the house. I'm doing it. You can do it. I don't care where it's at. You drive, fly. The one I'm getting ready to do, I think I'm going to um, fly. I'm tired of driving. I drive a lot. So y'all can do it, okay? Spend time with your family. And that's the reason why I'm sharing this, because I didn't get a chance to spend time with my babies when they was growing up. I was out there always making money, and I let the job control my life. So my kids got what was left. This time I'm in control. I choose what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do it, but I still put work for me to make money. Y'all saw my little calendar. You saw everything there. There's nothing hidden that I do. Okay? So, y'all have a good one. Be blessed. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. I answer what I can and what I can't. I'll refer you to whoever I think I know that can help you. But until that, you all, I'm not here to try to tell somebody that I can show you. and I can, I'm can. i not going to do all of that. You want to know? You want to know? For more than that, I'm doing what I know has prospered for me what is working for me, and with me being connected to the right mentors and the right coaches that show me how to apply things to be successful. And it feels good to begin living and living a financial free life and be able to work from home and do some of the things that I want to do. Yesterday, I did everything I needed to do. I did not work. I chose not to do any type of work yesterday. I didn't. Today, I'm going to do a little bit, maybe. I don't know. I might have to pick up the pieces on Monday, but that's okay. I get to spend the weekend with people that I love. Um, let me see here before I get off. You are so real. I can totally relate. When I studied the scriptures myself, uh, it changed my whole world. Sometimes you don't have to work so much, but learn to rely on Jehovah. And he gives you the desires of your heart. You are a blessing. Thank you, Irma. Yes, that is true. God will desire because I'm going to say that and I can com confirm with that. If you desire it, you deserve it. But when you deserve it, what are you going to do to get it? See, God is just sitting there. He already gave you everything you need. But God already gave you your, your guideline. It is in the Bible. Okay, whether it's in the Bible or whether he, it, it, God blesses the just as well as he blesses the unjust. You have to put the work into it. The words create, they form. And that's why you hear people talk about affirmations because people are saying the same thing over and over. You know, they got one that most people really use a lot of and that's Bob Proctor. I am so happy and grateful now. X, Y, Z. I am so happy and grateful now. X, Y, Z. I am so happy and grateful now that I'm making $100,000 a month. I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm making $10,000 a day. These are what people talk about. I am so happy and grateful now. That's, that's, that's taking the words, you creating something and putting it out there in the atmosphere. Okay? 
And when you say something so many times, it's just like when you was a kid, when they taught you how to uh, uh, say your ABCs, your one, two, threes, how to write the ABCs. You trained yourself. It was a skill set. And now it's a lifetime. Because why? If you don't know your ABCs, you do not know, you do not know how to write a sign, get where it's going to get you to. Okay? And you can have anything in this world if you do it the right way. And let me tell you right now, you don't have to have a degree. The richest and the wealthiest people that live in financial free right now barely have a fifth grade degree. Okay? Don't believe me? Go do your research. Okay? Um, so it's here for the taking, you all. It's been sitting here. We just did not know how to tap into it. We did not know how to manifest it. Because we was told to wait on the Lord. That's the religion part. But you already had the answer to every problem. Had an answer to every problem. This is June bug, everybody. That's my... Ooh. <laughs> but uh, you had the answer to every problem. It was in the Bible all the longest. It's in your principles. It's in your laws. The Bible itself is a principle. It's standard. That's AJ. And, of course, y'all see Jaquela. I only have two granddaughters. Out of my eight, eight grandkids, I have two granddaughters and six grandsons. Yay. Um, I hope I have been an encouragement to some. I hope I have blessed somebody to let you know, get out the dump, get out of the slump, quit feeling sorry for yourself. You don't want nobody to feel sorry for you, so why should you feel sorry for yourself? I had five kids. I never felt sorry for myself, and I didn't like a hand me. I didn't like a give out. I didn't like the food stamps. I didn't like the section eight housing. I didn't like low income. I didn't like none of that stuff. But I took what I had to do at the time till I could do better. There's nothing wrong with getting help. Getting help. Give me that. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you. It's, there's nothing wrong with getting help. There's nothing wrong with it. But don't depend on it. Don't make it a crutch. A lot of people, once they find out they can get something, they take it and they make it a crutch. Oh, girl, as long as I can get it for free. Boo, 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 boo. long I can get this, 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 this. That ain't the way. And then when they run out, because you depended on it so much and you didn't prepare for just in case, what can I do to make things better while I'm getting all this extra help? Let me use an example. And I ain't talking about nobody. And I hope I don't make, I hope I don't offend nobody. Okay. I just want to use an example because I've been there, done that. Let's say you living in Section 8 housing. Let's say you living in low income. Okay. Let's just say. Let's just say for instance, okay? And let's just say, um, let's just say that that um, you move a man in, okay? He's making good money, you making decent money, and where you living at is based off of your income. Hmm. Your income. So that means your money basically can pay all the bills. But you got him in the house now, and he's contributing to the household. And you too busy going out here buying purses, shoes, clothes, cars, hair, nail, tailor-made in your house. Do y'all know the poorest, broke-minded people got the most tailor-made house that sometimes you can't even walk through something without turning sideways or bumping something? Do y'all know wealthy people put a little bit of this here, a little bit of that there, and they got space because they don't have to prove nothing to nobody. Poor people are always trying to prove something to, to somebody. Wealthy people move in silence. They ain't proving nothing to nobody. They just doing it. That's why y'all don't hear me saying much of anything. I learned things, okay? Um, so what happens, y'all just spending this money when you should have been putting it in a bank account, when you should have been saving it. Because while you moved them into a low-income place, living large, what you should have been doing was stacking up to move out because he should have been like uh, uh, the Jeffersons. He should have did you like George did Weezy. He should have been moving you out of low income and moving you up into the penthouse. That's what he should have been doing. But then, when you lose all your benefits, sometimes he gets ghost. And now you mad. What you mad for? You did that to you. And then what hurts the most is when your baby's got to suffer. Because now you got to go pay full rent. You ain't got all that extra money. Now you can't eat them lobsters and them steaks and all them fancy meals. And your kid's not used to it. But now your kid's got to suffer because mommy can't do what she used to do. 
I know I was one of the mommies that couldn't couldn't I know because I was one of the mommies that couldn't give my kids a Christmas because why I was already living paycheck to paycheck so where Christmas gonna come from I wasn't going out there getting no payday loan I wasn't going out there getting no car loan I wasn't going out there to borrow no money so I was honest with my kids it's many times I put up a Christmas tree and there wasn't no gifts up under the tree but I kept it real with my children Y'all know what we did? We flipped it around. Christmas was just one day. I told <laughs> I, I, I wasn't religious. Uh, the, the, the gift, the, the important part of Christmas is not what's up under the tree. It's the gift is what hung on the tree. But me and my kids took income tax season. You carrying your kids anyway. That money, they, why not put the money back on your children? That's what I did. But anyway, everybody, it was a pleasure. I'm going to quit running my mouth because I can talk forever about the goodness and about where I am from where I used to be and how my feet don't hurt no more. My back don't hurt no more. I don't have to get up. So, oh God, I got to go to work today. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm still tired. Oh, my God. I'm still exhausted. Y'all, I don't even know what tired is. If I say tired, that's because I just said I'm tired because I got a lot of conflict. Four more than that. I used to complain a lot. I don't complain. I'm thankful. Because I'm able to get it done. But you all, I do have to end this live. I see the grandbabies are getting a little bit out of control. So y'all have a good one. God bless. See y'all on the next flip.